Welcome to Lila Studios, and we are here today doing the segment that everybody talks about. Worldwide fame. Actually, we're internet. Yeah, I did say worldwide. You know, we we have um, we have fans in Israel. Rip, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, you already knew that? Yeah, you told me, and I looked it up, and yeah, whatever the guy's name was. Yeah. Oh, you sound real excited about it. Are you gonna like? Well, are you I ready I, for this I had everything set, and then all of a sudden. I mean, oh, there they are. Okay, there. Well, I rolled it in this, and you know how fun. Oh, I know you got to prep for everything, just like your matches. <laughs> that's gotta the only. Make sure it's that's the only. Oh, that's the only thing. I, for. Hey, hey, uh, M and M's or whatever. Yeah, we can do that. We can have those during the show. I mean, oh, I gotta say, a, I'm just getting. You know, I didn't, brief segment I didn't here, have a. I mean, you didn't have a coke ready look, for me, and then you got the candy and teased me with this it. This isn't no one, the real. This is. This is just five photos, Rip. I okay. Didn't get a, I didn't even get a chance to announce that yet. <laughs> This is the, the <coughs> most famous segment that we ever put together. How many? Five photos. How many? Five. Five. From Rip Rogers' own. Hey, T. Weasel sends me a message because uh, I put on the last one that possibly he's banned for life. Yeah, well, he, he's Mission. over. He's overexposed is what he's, it is. Yeah, because well, you. I mean, it's kind well, of your fault. Well, well, yeah, you, well, you look, put him on there five times. Look what. Well, yeah. but he called you up on the phone and tell you what you was doing wrong. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that on the show too. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? Is he? I'm gonna get a sneak peek. Is is he back in these? Hey, don't look at my phone. Don't look at my uh, my what is that called? Format. You got a format over there. Oh, the, my, my pornography on my phone. I thought you was looking at. Um, five photos from Rip Rogers' cell phone. Here we go. Take it away, Rip. Okay, today's five photos, and I can talk a little accent or whatever. But anyway, picture number one, numero uno. Never looking at that I, camera. Oh, looking at that camera. Yeah. I got to look at the thing to see what yeah, it is. Well, oh, yeah. This is the big old picture. Now, this, now sitting in Sean Malone's Brooklyn Pizza in Seymour, Indiana, this big old huge picture on the wall with a bunch of superstars came in there. And uh, they even autographed a picture for Sean. Of course, we got the, the free, uh, free drinks and the free pizza and the free this and the free that. And... Uh, so, but anyway, and well, the good. weasel wasn't invited. Well, of course not. Because he he's got he he's got to mooch something. He would have taken advantage of that. You know, he would have eaten too eaten too much, drank too much, but then bitched about it. Yeah, going left or right. Number one, the world's most famous photographer in the world, greatest ever. Who? Romer. Now, is this a Brooklyn Pizza? Yeah, he's on he's on the picture right there. Oh, next, next to him well, is the one and only oh, okay. Triple B, Big Bobby Black. That's right, Big Bobby Black. <laughs> In back of Big Bobby Black is the inevitable Von Lilas, the host, the, the producer. Yes, he autographed it. I think he spelled, he got Vaughn. You spell Vaughn different ways well, sometimes. Spend, yeah, yeah, you changed I'm it. I'm the V-O-N You changed now. it, yeah, okay. I've switched it. Then next is Dylan Bostick. I legally changed it. And, oh, and Dylan's got this pay-per-view fight, and it says he's a bodybuilder and former professional wrestler. Oh, wow. And, and he sent me the thing. I uh, believe one of those two statements. One or the other. Got the gold chain on, looking good. Yeah. Last but not least. What's Dylan's it? gangster. Gangsta. Gangsta, sorry. Gangsta, yeah. yeah. And then I got the uh, the hat on backwards, just like Vaughn Lilas. I don't, don't have my buddy Wayne hat today. But I do have my fanny pack on, but you can't see it. So that picture is sitting in Sean Malone's Brooklyn Pizza, Seymour, Indiana. Picture. Don't, that was picture number, number one. one. Might have been the greatest picture ever. It might have been. At least the uh, the biggest collection of top stars ever, I would say. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Woo. Hey, when, when you got Big Bobby Black in there, you know, Hell yeah. you know it's serious business. It is serious. Okay, picture number two. Number two. One of the world's greatest professional wrestling announcers, Jr. is with me in this picture. This Jim was Ross, baby. this was it, and uh, uh, I met Jim Ross in Mid South in 1983 when he was the announcer for Cowboy Bill Watts in Mid South Wrestling. Then he's with WCW for years, and he was with WWE for years, and now he's with AEW. So the man has pretty much done it all. Living the dream. So uh, if you if you need something to know about this business, ask Jr. So when you when you when you were ch uh, teaching training WWE developmental, did you deal with him a lot? Did you talk with him a lot? No, I didn't talk to nobody. Not even Jr. Huh? Not really. No, just one of the times he fired me. You know, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he didn't. I was just ribbing you. That's awesome. but, but that's Picture that. number three. <laughs> Picture number three. Scrolling over here. Here. The one and only HTM. HTM, baby. The honky-tonk man. Me and the honky-tonk man. I got my Hustler uh, t-shirt on from Pro Wrestling Tees, which you can just happen to buy that from Pro Wrestling Tees if you want to. Honky-tonk man looking good, shooting the shit, telling stories. And I want you to remember, I want you to remember, he's the, the what? Is he the greatest intercontinental champion of what time? All time, baby. All, All time. time. And HTM. that's HTM. Shake, HTM. rattle, and roll. And that's picture number three. Picture number three. And in picture number four, we got a picture with a, I call it the cradle of coaches. We had a bunch of coaches and we had clinics down in, in Charlotte. There's the inevitable Les Thatcher. Doctor, I thought I was inevitable. He's, well, that's, a, well, that, I got that. that anybody? Yes, I got that from Sam Miniker. So you just you say it be, about everybody. Yeah, well, you know. I feel so important now. Yeah, well. Okay, the, the, the inevitable. Oh, then the next is the inevitable Dr. Tom <laughs> Pritchard. The inevitable Rip Rogers in a Briscoe Brothers uh, T-shirt. The in inevitable <laughs> oh, Coach Briscoe. And then we have Lance Storm and uh, Coach Briscoe's son. And he's married to Red Velvet. The, oh, really? The, the girl wrestler for... Uh, AEW? Right? Yeah, but Wes. No, it was Wes. Me and Wet met, or me, blah, 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 blah. me, me and Wes was BS. Don't worry, I'll edit and, that out. Right? Oh, you won't edit nothing. But he was over in me. Yeah, Wes, yeah. Wes is the real deal. And the last picture on five photos we've done. So, did you say where you were? That coaching thing was that? Where was that? Yeah, at? It, all this was the stuff that was done to Charlotte. Uh, they had a big uh, clinic extravaganza autograph thing. There was all kind of wrestlers there, and everything. It was just a shoot the shit thing. Hmm. Uh, see, I saw that. That's the first place I saw Darby Allen there. Oh yeah, the first time. He he's he was training at Buddy Wayne School. Right. And the last picture, and this is a question and answer series they have, and this was me and Jim Cornette on stage. So there was a lot of flying fucks, don't give a fucks, and there was I think there was a record. I think it was a record breaking number of not enough fucks given with different uh, meanings. So we had a good time with that. I got the Rip Rogers shirt on, and Jimmy's got the uh, the Cornette shirt on. So it don't get any better than that. So now we've seen not one, but two, not three, not what year four. Was that, you know? About five years ago. But five, five photos. Five it, photos. It don't get any better than that. From Rip Rogers' cell phone, probably the greatest. That's why we started doing this. I I start putting this out on YouTube. It, it's separate, you know, and I, I would like to take credit for that, but, you know, Rip, you know, it was his genius idea. He said, you know what, I think this is such an important part of the show. We're just going to make it its own segment. Fuck, I didn't say that. I wouldn't uh, even have thought of that. You I, didn't say it. I, did I really? Yeah, I, I can, fuck. I, I, I was going to say it was my idea, and then I figured I you would chime in and say, no, I can't wait remember. a second. I can't Excuse remember. Excuse me. That was my idea. I wouldn't have said excuse me. So then I me. give you, you always say that. Excuse me. That's like, oh, every time... Hey. You say that all the time. Excuse me. Oh, I, oh, Vicky Guerrero stole that from me. Yeah. Five photos from Rip Rogers' phone. Five out of the 12,978 pictures that he has on the phone. Today we picked five and covered them all. It don't get no better than that. Five.